Hey, it's Genevieve with iPivot Now, here for this week's tip and trick around posture and body mechanics. So this week, we're here in the grocery store, a place that everybody frequents all the time. So here's a couple tips that you can do to save your spine. So when you enter the grocery store and you have a choice of carts, if you're only picking up a couple items, definitely choose the cart that has the higher shelf. As we're unloading here, look at there's hardly any height difference, and all it is is a simple weight shift from one side to the other. All right, there we go, beautiful. Now, if you are like most people and have more than three objects to shop for, what I like to do, I back my cart in, actually, and I'm going to, when I've been shopping, going up and down the aisles, I actually strategically try to place the items. I try to put the heaviest items up top. I try to put the lightest items in the back of the cart towards me, and then the medium heavy or everything else sort of on the edge of the cart. So here we are. So these heavier objects, you can try to be close. I'm using my tummy muscles, holding it close to my body. I'm taking a step or at least transferring my weight and placing it down. The case of water, the dreaded case of water, it's so heavy, right? So most places you can ask your friendly cashier to bring the scanner over and scan it. Then you don't even have to take it out of your cart. But if you do have to take it out of your cart, again, we're gonna try to get really close, suck in that tummy, squeeze those booty muscles. Here we go. Try to lightly bend our knees, and there we are. All right, so we're done with the heavy stuff. I walk around, and now, since we've strategically taste, um, or strategically, ugh, I can't talk, put the, put the heavier stuff at the end, here we are. Again, you can do a weight shift, or if you have to dive in, do a little bit of a golfer's pickup. Kick out that back leg. Maintain that neutral spine, right? Bending over. Here you go. Because as we know with osteoporosis, you want to avoid rounding your spine. The number one place that fractures occur in people with osteoporosis is their spine, the front part of your spine. And when you're rounding, you're increasing your risk of fractures. So here we are, right? Now, the lighter stuff, if you need to, you can either shift it towards the edge of the cart, or if you had some heavy stuff back there, let's shift it forward. Okay, then again, we're just doing a simple weight shift. Or if you feel the need to dive in again, trying to do, trying to kick out that back leg. All right, there we go. And just as a PS, all the items here are 100% gluten free. All right, let me know how that goes. Take charge of your health and well being over and out.